280 feet up in the air sits a one-of-a-kind private bar. People come up here for the first time, and I hear awe. With a character to match working inside. Jack Cernak, a bartender, is known by colleagues as the historian for everything Alan Bradley and Rockwell Automation. The next thing they want to know is everything about the clock and how it was built that I can tell them. Working for the last 30 years inside the largest four-face clock tower in North America, Cernak has stories for days. So I've seen a plane crash into Lake Michigan. I've seen lightning uh, strike a building and start on fire. His vest filled with pins, keepsakes from parties he's worked serving drinks to politicians. George Bush Sr. when he was vice president. And rubbing elbows with celebrities. Paul Newman the actor was up here. Cernak knows all about the history of the clock tower. First lit Halloween night 1962, each clock's faces run independently. They're Louis Alice motors. And weigh about 2,700 pounds. Their hands 16 to 20 feet long. So how did they get the faces up there? If you look on the outside, you'll see some huge rings that are on each face, and they go all the way around on the outside, and those were lifting rings that they brought that stuff up with. Probably the best part of Cernak's job, bringing the tower to life to longtime admirers. People that come up here and they'll say, my grandfather worked here. He worked on that clock. Actually taking them behind the clock inside a Milwaukee icon. Standing inside the Rockwell Allen Bradley clock tower, you can actually see the motor the clock runs on and the gears that change the clock hands. Each face lit by LED lights can be seen up to 45 miles away. The time changed twice a year when overnight security guards adjust the clocks manually by turning the key on the ground level for each one. He has to rotate it, but he can't see the clock, so he has a guard stand on a corner and the guard will say, okay, that one's right. Then they go, okay, that one's right. They do that till all four faces are done. A lifetime of memories inside a craftsman building. How many more years do you think you're going to be working here? I have no idea. Till it gets to be work. Right now it's still fun. Forever overlooking Cream City's views. In Milwaukee, Caroline Reinwald, WISN 12 News. That's a good way to look at your job. The clock tower bar and the walkway behind the clock faces are open to the public every year for just a few days during Doors Open Milwaukee, the annual fall event. I didn't know there was a bar up there. Mark knew. I did. We He's had to wear the, the world as Mark Payne. There. It was fun. Way back in the day with the season to celebrate. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool.